guys, it's Bernicia, aka Kind of Fly Bug, and welcome back to my channel. Again, I'm in my car <laughs> vlogging because I spend most of my time in my car um, <laughs> when I'm not at work. Um, anyway, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, uh, welcome and thank you for coming to check me out. If you're old here um, or if you're a new subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, I'm getting more of them, so I'm pretty excited about that. I got 20 more to go, and then I'm gonna like give somebody something. I don't know what exactly I'm gonna do. I might do like a little questionnaire or like throw like three questions for somebody to answer. Something that if you've actually, you know, seen my videos, you would be able to answer about me. So, you know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what I come up with. Um, I keep saying I don't want these videos, these vlogs to be very long, but they keep going like 10 minutes and I'm like, oh, no, like five minutes. Come on. I want to see if I can, you know, beat myself this time. Um, but anyway, welcome to my channel. Um, oh, today has been a really rough day. Um, I got to you know, I've had to like figure out some things to get my cat like placed um, somewhere until we move. Um, and so that's stressing me out a lot. Um, not very happy with it. I'm just, cause I'm gonna miss my cat. And it's actually more stress for me to have to like go and see my cat, you know, where I'm gonna place them and, you know, take care of them and I'm just, because he's got asthma, so I'm just kind of like, I, you know, he's a special needs cat, and so I have to kind of like make sure that he takes his pills and stuff, because if he doesn't, or takes his meds, then that's a trip to the vet that I can't really afford right now, and even if I could afford it, I don't want to go to the vet, because, because of COVID happening and stuff, I mean, just getting Bo his, um, his shots, you know, I can't go in there with him, I have to actually leave him in the lobby, which was ludicrous to me even though everyone has to do it but I don't I don't relish having to leave my animal alone in in the foyer of the vet and then go to my car and then have you call me to tell me what you're doing to my animal you know what I mean I, even though a lot of times when they do take their shots they don't give them give their shots right in front of you anyway but you're still in the building you know you're there it's just, I don't know. This whole thing is just, so I just, I don't want anything like that to happen or because he's not in the house, I don't want him to get lost or something like that. And I mean, I'm, I'm comfortable with where he's going to go, but still I'm just kind of like, what if, you know what I mean? And you know, having to like try and move and like work with like your head on your shoulders and stuff, that's like having a a child that's been kidnapped you know what I mean and you're like constantly thinking where's my kid what's going on with my kid what's happening to them you know and so I mean I, I get that shit happens <clears throat> and some things are just you know they shouldn't happen but when they do you just have to deal with them but I just uh, I don't know my, my my cat's been like having some weird like domination issues or something I don't know what exactly is going on in his little crazy mind but it's like he's been like throwing up and it's like I don't know I don't know how many times he's done that but it's like well okay well how often is he doing that but I have no idea because I'm at work when this is happening or I'm asleep I don't know and so and then he's like you know <clears throat> you know cats are gonna do what cats do and Unfortunately, every once in a while in a cat's life, they're going to defecate or piss somewhere they're not supposed to. So you just have to, I mean, it, it happened, you know, before we moved, when we had our bunnies, before they passed away, that, you know, he would go in there and he was fine before we moved originally. And then all of a sudden, like we moved and he was just like, I'm going to go in here and pee in the, in the bun's litter box. And it's like, you can't do that. That's not yours. So we got him out of the habit of doing that. And now it's like, I don't know, it's like, I don't know. Maybe he's stressed out. I don't know what the hell, but. So I'm just really stressed out about my cat. And, you know, having to move and it's just like, ugh. It's just. 
and trying to remain calm, I'm working on it. I mean, a lot of times when I, 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 I realize in myself that when, you know, there's a problem, I want people, and I always encourage people to, hey, come talk to me. If I've done something or something has happened that it's in my control to change, please come to me and talk to me about it. But if you come at me all half-cocked, and, I, and I'm, I'm guilty of doing it, I'm guilty of doing it. Everybody knows that I'm, I can come flying off the handle, especially if I have no information or very little or I'm PMSing or whatever the fuck is, you know, going on in my head that day. You know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, innocent of not doing that. So, I mean, I'm not perfect. I don't expect other people to be. Um, because, and, and it's understandable because, again, I do fly off the handle. And I don't always approach people in the best way. Um, so I know that people will often come at me and they don't come, they don't talk to me. They talk at me and the, sometimes the delivery is kind of fucked up. And then, you know, my reaction will probably be equally, if not more fucked up. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I know that that's something that I have to work on on myself, you know, in healthcare. Now, if, if somebody, if I was to be driving <laughs> and see someone bleeding on the side of the road, as I've seen like several times within the last two or three years alone, and I've had to pull over, I'm, I'm going to work and I see this happening. I pull over, I can stay professional. I can stay calm. I can stay, you know, even if, you know, like for instance, I had, um, I had, I had been driving to work and I saw this boy, he was on his, um, his uh, skateboard and he flipped and he fell off of his uh, his uh, skateboard and he had um, like a little like mini boom box and it had like he like popped his head on it and his head was bleeding and his his dad came running over and was like all over him and he was like yo he thought he thought like hey hey dude you gotta move and so people were calling the police and calling the ambulance but I stayed calm and it's like it, it, it baffles me sometimes how I can be so calm in a professional sense, but <laughs> sometimes when it comes to personal, I'm like, ah, and I'm like, I don't know. I, I mean, and sometimes I can be like, and people are surprised because they're just like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Which is terrible. Ugh. And I've always told everybody, I am, I'm, I'm not the easiest person to get along with because I have my ticks, I have my twerks, you know, I'm, I'm a big ass weirdo and, you know, sometimes it's my bipolar, sometimes it's PMS, sometimes it's from misinformation or assumptions or whatever. I'm human. I'm, I'm not going to lie, but it's something, again, I'm working on. I'm not a perfect human. No one is perfect. It's just... I, I've noticed that the more stress I have, though, the more less tolerant and the more my temper is more apt to go. But that's, again, that's a normal thing. Not making excuses because, you know, when you do bad behaviors, you know, you're going to get some bad results. You're not, you, you can't be sitting here going, ah, and being like a Karen, like I was talking about in the last video, and expect people to be like, Oh, okay. I'm just gonna, that doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. So, I mean, you have to face calm with calm and it's just, sometimes it's hard. It's sometimes it's hard. You know, unfortunately, you know, we all have that, you know, a tendency to be passive aggressive and, you know, I, I've been reading a lot about that too. And so I'm, I'm trying to, you know, get a, become a better me, if that makes sense. So, I mean, it's going to take time. It's not going to take, you know, it's not going to be overnight. Um, but oh, I'm just really stressed out and I have a tiny smile on my face, but yeah, I'm not smiling. I'm really not. Yesterday was like a shit show. Like I, I was driving home and 
I got on the highway and before you knew it, I mean, I, several people were driving next to me and they, they kind of slowed down and I saw them out of the corner of my eye and they stopped and they rolled their windows down and I think they were like yelling at me. Like, hey, are you okay? Because I was, I got on the highway and before I knew it, I was going, ah, and I was bawling. I was so upset and just like, my heart was just broken. And I just, I got home and I was just, I was sitting in the driveway. I was writing in my journal and I was just, I was just in pieces. And I was just like, there's no way that I can walk into my house with a straight face because if anybody sees me, they're going to be like, what the fuck? What happened? <laughs> what happened to you? I don't know. Just I'm just having a lot of emotions lately. and I don't say face very well. I, I, I never have. Even when I was a kid, I'd, if I got a boo-boo or hurt myself, I was, ah! because hey you know and the more and more people are saying hey talk talk I mean my communi my, my communication is, is getting better I'm still a little standoffish but I try not to be um, and it's getting easier because I've actually had to like yep I'm going on 12 minutes I've had to like kind of like force myself to just be like say it <laughs> say the damn thing and so I do and then I feel better <laughs> it's about that whole vulnerability and being strong thing that you know a lot of black women get stuck with you know being strong and it's like I'm tired of being strong I'm really I mean I, I would like to you know I, I would really really love to like come home and feel like the petite little wife and be like nah. <laughs> And like, you know, him just coddle me and be like, it's going to be okay, little pet. But yeah, that's not going to happen. That doesn't happen. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just... Uh. <sighs> okay, enough of the rant. Enough, because it's almost 13 minutes. Um, I don't even know what the fuck I was like getting on here. <laughs> Oh, that was just a little peek into my life for today. Um, again, um, I think I, I was thinking when I left my job that I'm I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna put on a little bit of music, and I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna dress up and do my makeup, and then I'll post it so you guys can see. I'm gonna try two or three different little outfits and. I probably won't be removing too much makeup. I'll just be putting it on. <laughs> Hopefully I don't look like a clown, y'all. So <laughs> when y'all see it, please tell me which look you guys like best. I don't know. I don't know about like hairdos or nothing because I was supposed to untwist my hair yesterday for Twist Out Thursday and fuck that shit. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm too stressed to look all cute, but I, damn it, I'm going to do it because I need to... I need to get out of this little funk that I've found myself in. And this isn't going to, like, get me out of my funk. But it'll help a little bit, I hope. Oh. Like, I heard Club uh, Nouveau yesterday when I was in the car. Um, the Lean On Me song. Lean on me. And, you know, I was like, hey, I haven't heard that song in a while. And, like, for a second, I wasn't sad because <laughs> I love that song and like it's a good like pick me up and I'm like who do I have to lean on who do I have to lean on let me let me think <laughs> okay it's going on 15 minutes now I don't want it to just keep going so um that's a little <clears throat> a little view into my life for today um I'm gonna go home and see how the land lays see what the hell is for dinner and I'm going to choose a few outfits to try on and do my makeup and just play with makeup for like 30 minutes hopefully my video won't be 30 minutes but we'll see <laughs> but anyway um, I'm gonna let you guys go since I'm pretty much at home now and um, 
I will catch you guys in the next one. Please make sure you're maintaining social distancing. I don't want nobody getting sick out there. Um, wear your masks. Even if you hate them, we all hate them, but it's a mandate. So just suck it up and do it, y'all, please. And I don't know. Be beautiful. Stay beautified. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I will catch y'all in the next one.